Hi everyone, it's me, Sarah, here with the Enosburg Public Library, and today I'm going to read you a story for Saturday Story Time. So today, we are going to be reading A Llama Destroys the World by Jonathan Stutzman and illustrated by Heather Fox. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Llama should ever eat. Dat, said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. Oh my. This was his first mistake. He burped. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing. So Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Llama huffed and he puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jiggled, he tangoed, he cha 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 real smooth. His rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise, but the pants never stood a chance. Rip, uh-oh. The rip was thunderous, it shook the house, the trees, and the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Rip. That's a big, loud rip. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. Dat, said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was Llama of science. He knew the answers were out there waiting to be discovered. Llama read, read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find, and then he analyzed the data and came to a well, well thought out conclusion. Dat, said Llama. Instead of warning the world of the in imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom, doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Llama didn't notice. Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more back, black holes sucked in, the bigger, the stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama! The black holes swallowed everything up, every single thing left in the world, everything left in the universe. Uh-oh. Until there was nothing. I am Llama. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it has been before, even Llama. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm, like nothing ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. More pie than any Llama should ever eat. Dat, said Llama.
Llama ate all of the pie. The end. That was a cute book. So today, what we could do for a craft for that is actually, I made this. So you can get a small paper plate. You cut it in half if you have any brown cardboard or any color cardboard. And you decorate it with your markers or colored pencils or pencils. And you can draw on the eyes. And this is the little llama I made. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I will see you next time. You have a beautiful day here in Vermont. And have a great weekend. Thank you, guys. Bye.